Hello guys, time again to tie in yet another fly D pattern uh, again. Uh, I do love those uh, D patterns, uh, so I'm gonna uh, do a few each week, one or two, uh, in between the live sessions, um, just to get the, uh, you know, uh, my tying back at uh, where it should be. A bit rusty though, <laughs> and my arm is playing up. But let's start. Let's start tying. Um, so what we're going to try today is the D pattern uh, killer. It's similar as a tree color. However, it's a golden pheasant uh, breast feather in the front instead of a vigian or a teal. And also it's a white wing. Else everything is the same. So I go with oval silver tinsel. I chose small. Since we're going to add a few turns of it. There we go. Good thing is I'm gonna have a lot of spay and deep patterns in my fly tying board uh, after these videos. I love to fish with them. And the hook I'm using today is, as you might know already, Alex uh, Jackson. So let's go back there. This one off. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a um, golden pheasant breast feather, the red one. So I'm just gonna wet it to make it easier to tie in, and then I can brush it out. Since we're gonna fish with it, I tie in quite a lot of the stem. Wanna make it uh, robust. There we go. So cut in that one as well. Then let's look at the pattern. So we're gonna tie in Silver twist and also flat silver tinsel. Just to get that out of the way. And back again. Flat silver tinsel. Three different colors on uh, the body, silver, starting with the uh, yellow. Then light blue and scarlet, meaning red. So I'm just adding yellow here. Just a 
little bit more And it's gonna be gray here on from blue. So then uh, let's tie in this in gray here on. So I'm just going to prepare the feather. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna wax the thread. I tie in quite a lot. Uh, since it's a seal for a body, it doesn't matter. Light blue, a bit more color to it. I don't want to tie in the gray hair on here, so I'm trying to be a bit careful. Too blue. times on the table because it still have the wooden spoon in it uh, for drying up there we go almost there so let's apply this one Adding a bit of wax to the thread. So now we're gonna uh, 
attached it in so I'm just gonna have a quick look there we go so I'm gonna start with the flat one Dubbing me them Now it's the twist's turn. Same there, yes, remove the hair on the dubbing needle so you don't tie it in. And it's gonna go behind the flat one. turns to secure everything so let's cut cut away the tin set the left away I like to pull out a bit of seal fur should be bushy fly Then we're gonna use uh, the gray hair on. It's the same as any hackle, really. Just pull the fibers backwards, and then you wind behind the silver twist. Protect the stem. Like a fly. So I like just to gently brush. I see a lot of people just pulling all the fibers down. Uh, I don't understand why. Uh, please don't do that. But if it's uh, to your taste, then uh, I shouldn't say anything. But uh, I, I prefer to keep the feathers as they are. So now to the front tackle. I'm going to use two breast feathers um, of the uh, golden pheasant. 
just to give a bit of volume since I'm not using the teal or uh, pintail or vidian I think for three color it's teal or vidian as front tackle I'm gonna tie that one as well in a day or two so I'm just preparing both uh, and then I'm gonna pair them up and tie them in as a pair just to give a, a bit more volume since it's not that many fibers on one breast feather there you go so I take both of them and tie them in as one but before I do that I need to apply a bit of wax to the thread backwards I'm gonna use it all There we go, tying that one in. What I'm gonna do here, since we have quite a lot of fiber on the top, I'm just gonna uh, move them away. Just gent gentle. Like you see there. So I prepared uh, uh, the room for the wing. So let me see. going to pair them Make 
making them equal long it's easier to measure Just gonna play around a bit here. I might actually reset due to the fact I forgot to build up uh, the distance from the head to the front tackle. So that's why it's uh, pointing upwards. So let's just redo that. I'm gonna wax the thread. So let's do this properly. You're gonna see the difference when I apply the wing again. It's gonna get a lower uh, angle. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's get it rid of all the wax thread there. There we are. And just folding the feathers or the fibers to the side, as I mentioned earlier. Almost there. So there we are, having a, a low profile, but not that low, just a bit. And the, it's the tail that is going off a bit. So I'm gonna wet that and reshape it. It's dragging a bit to the other side.
There we go. So I just gonna cut the off all the feathers, um, not the feathers, but the fibers in the front, and then just yes, the varnish uh, the head, and uh, then we are done. So guys, that's uh, uh, that was the killer. Uh, really nice deep pattern. Uh, I did uh, though change the wing a bit, uh, as you see. So now I'm uh, now I'm pleased with the with the look of it. Uh, so. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs button. I would really much appreciate that. Uh, so, uh, uh, enough rumbling about. Uh, have a great day and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.